They were going to make an airplane model made all in wood and inside the motors I'm going to put speakers. So let's start drawing the part in three, into Fusion 360. So I draw just the, the sides of the wing and I can connect using the loft method here on Fusion 360. I can create a revolution to create the engine itself and let's stick all the parts together. So this is the wing and this is the motor. I really love this design, so I'm going to stick with it and continue the project <laughs> designing now the fuselage of the plane. So the method is very simple. I'm going to draw multiple lines, so I'm creating mul multiple profile of the fuselage in this way. So I have all the parts I need and now using the same method, I mean the loft setting, I can connect all the profiles together, giving the fuselage the, the shape I really need. I can then make a mirror touch to create the same parts also on the right side. So we have the same fus fuselage and the same wing and are perfectly symmetrical. I just have to design also the rudder on the back and the plane is basically ready. Now a very difficult part to machine, I want to cut all the wood parts with my CNC machine, but the back side, the thinner part of the wing is so thin that I can probably destroy everything. So the best solution is to have all the parts stick to the very strong wood base and I'm planning now to cut the wing into two pieces and then move them and align them better so I can machine one side first and then the other side and this will help not to destroy all the wood. I'm going to use a very thin and soft wood so it can be very dangerous to, to destroy everything in this process. I decide to align all the parts like this so I'm ready to, to machine them with my CNC machine. Now the wood I'm going to use is these wood boards. I took them from the recycling part, I just have a, a home renovation and these are the wood boards they use to walk on and to make work at home. So I want to use this very cheap wood and then I then design all the parts and these. I Now I'm making sure that everything fits inside the wood board I just have here in my hand. Maybe it's a bit too thick, so the solution is to make it thinner and yeah, I have the perfect machine here in my shop. That's perfect. These are the perfect dimension I have also in Fusion 360. So the board is much thinner now and I can place everything into my CNC machine ready to be machined. But first let's create the G-code which is basically the code with all the perfect position of the mill that have to cut the part. Talking about the mill, this is the new <laughs> Boss Beaver mill, it's from Fraser and it cuts so great. You can clearly see that it's so good, good shape, good quality metal and has also a coating surface that gets the metal last longer. So I secure everything in the CNC and I'm ready to cut it. So this was just the first part, removing as much material as possible. Now I have to smooth the surface and remove all these steps and stairs I have here on the wood. To do this, I just bought a new mill and has a spherical point shape and this can then 
cut away and design better all the structure of the wing. You can see the point is so smooth and round and I can use my Stepcraft CNC machine to machine all the surface and follow all the up heel and down heel shape of the model. So it has a very sharp and hard metal and you can clearly see here that I'm designing and producing the g-code that all the steps and the blue material goes away until we have the perfect shape of the wing remember also to replace the chuck that is inside the mill because we are passing from eight millimeters to six millimeters so we need to install a proper chuck inside the mill be careful don't cut yourself these mills are so sharp it's like a razor blade so let's install the new mill and start the machine <laughs> Okay, everything is coming great. And the last piece is this wing. And at this point, I just have to remove all the parts from the wood blocks. I have calculated per precisely that on the back, there are only a couple millimeters that hold the piece in, in place. So I can use this bit, this mill, to remove uh, all the material until the part falls out. So let's go to the computer. I can then install backwards all the wood parts we cut earlier and using this mill I can cut layers of wood away. So this technique is very useful if you want to have a very thin layer of wood, especially if you are working with, with very soft wood, like in this case, and we can remove a very thin layer, I'm talking about 0.8 millimeters at a time. And unfortunately, I can see here that I have my CNC not running through. <laughs> I mean, the Z-axis isn't properly at 90 degrees. That's the reason why we are creating so many lines here on the wood. So it's something I have to fix later. But I'm pretty happy on how fast this mill can cut away layers. And after three or four passes, I can clearly see now that the parts is perfectly removed from the wood base. That's amazing. Also because I can clearly see that it has a very, very thin layer and the machine is so precise, I can also clearly see through the wood like it's paper. So I can cut away the parts just pushing with my fingers or if it's, if it's thicker, I can use a very sharp razor blade and remove the wings from the board. So let's see if the parts align. Yeah, and this is the wing and it's so beautiful to see something so fragile made with my machine. I was telling you, I never realized sooner that my CNC wasn't running through. All these steps you see here on the wood, I can fix it using some sandpaper, but probably what I have to do is fix the Z axis. And to do this, I can correct these ball bearings that are here on the side and move them up or down and make sure that everything runs. Time to use and try for the first time this very thin mill. It's so precisely made I can cut also and engrave my logo into the rudder of the plane. So my logo is very simple but has very thin lines and let's see if I can cut it 
and yeah without problems this is the first circle I'm going to design here on the wing and also these are the letters now my plan is to mount and install two little speakers inside the motors so we need to machine the holder and in this case we we'll made a speaker and this part is much trickier because we need to machine it from one side and then to on the other side so after taking all the measurements with my caliper I can then take everything into my computer and design the G-code. So this is the inner part of the speaker. I can flip the part into my CNC and cut the other side. And finally the parts are free. I can use some sandpaper to remove the parts. And this is the result. It looks like two coffee cups, but instead will be the holders of the speaker itself. And let's make sure that everything fits inside so I can see that the driver goes in without problems. And then I can test all the copper cables through the speaker and now it's time to do the same thing talking about the little circuit board this is a circuit board that has Bluetooth and is an amplifier and I can hide everything inside the fuselage of the plane you can see that also the battery goes inside make sure to keep on the switch button and I also install a USB cable here on the back so that I can charge it I also make place for two copper cables that pass through the wing and goes out from the motor holder and use some vinyl glue to make sure to close all the parts don't make a mess like me don't put too much glue just take your time and let the glue dry and in 12 hours all the place all the pieces are holding place and i can pass some sandpaper make the parts smoother so the copper cables pass through the wing and i really love the design the, the airfoil shape is so beautiful now and um, probably I, I can make in the future something like this but with a hydrofoil thing like we will see later so let the glue dry and install also here on the back the wings and the rudder here and let the glue dry as well so after 10 hours finally the plane is taking shape i just uh, have to glue the two parts and the speaker here in the front so the glue I'm using isn't perfect for this project because here in my shop there's too much moisture and this glue creates some foam if there is too much moisture in the in the in the shop before washing all the details of this plane let's turn on the music and hear how this speaker sounds like Wow, I'm so proud on how this plane looks like. This isn't my real first project using my CNC, but it's so amazing. See how I can improve my projects and how I can control the CNC now that I'm working on it since two years now. I don't already put some finishing oil onto the model, so let me know in the comments below what you think is the best finish if I have to apply maybe some wax or something else. And this will be it will be a prototype later on i will fix some things for example this glue isn't the best as you can see it creates some foam here in the junction and this is due to the humidity i will also install the usb cable here on the top so that i can charge it better because this plane will be mounted on top of the ceiling of my house and having a charger here on the top will be the best solution so i can keep it always charged so at this point i leave you here my two previous projects how to make speaker headphones and also the previous one check it out <laughs> That's, that's unexplicable. <laughs>